Welcome back to Math 171 Precalculus Algebra. In this video, we're going to take a look at Newton's Law of Cooling. I do want to point out this also could be used in the reverse direction for Newton and turn it into kind of Newton's Law of Heating. So this would be something if you were going to model, say, I pour a cup of coffee and want to model the temperature over time. So I would expect when I pour the coffee, it's going to be hot, but over time it's going to get closer to room temperature. But I do point out, as I started to say, this can be used in the reverse direction to talk about warming. So maybe if I wanted to model the temperature of the turkey that I'm cooking at Thanksgiving... Over time, I could use a very similar model to this to do that. So Newton's Law of Cooling, the formula is T is equal to C plus T0 minus C E to the KT where C is the temperature of the environment. So, whether it be the room temperature for the cup of coffee, or if I throw something in the refrigerator, the temperature of the refrigerator, whatever that is, that's going to be the C. T0 is going to be the initial temperature of the object. So whatever object that is, whether it be a cup of coffee or the bottle of milk, whatever, it's going to have some sort of temperature whenever I put it into the new environment. And then K is just going to be a constant. So, of course, we can go ahead and Put the model together. So the example we have, and again I will put the text of this problem in the description of this video. A cake removed from the oven has a temperature of 210 degrees Fahrenheit. It is left to cool in a room that has a temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes, the temperature of the cake is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And we want to use Newton's Law of Cooling to find a model for the temperature of the cake after some period of time in minutes. So, first off, we know the model's got to look something like T equals 70 plus 210 minus 70 E to the KT. Now we know here that we're interested in time being 30 minutes, and at that time the temperature is 140. So I get 140 is equal to 70, plus I'll go ahead and do the subtraction here and get 140 E to the 30 K. I can subtract 70 from both sides. Then divide both sides by 140. So I get 1 half is equal to e to the 30k. Take the natural log of both sides and I get ln of a half is equal to 30k. 
then divide both sides by 30. And I get ln of a half over 30 equals k. And that comes out to... Approximately negative point two or oh two three one. So therefore the model ends up being T equals seventy plus one forty E to the minus point zero two three one T where T is measured in minutes. So that concludes this video, and it actually concludes all the videos for Module 4 of the course. The test for Module 4 will become available Tuesday morning at midnight, and will be due Wednesday evening at midnight. And then we also have our second proctored test that's going to become available Wednesday morning, and that's going to be due Sunday night. So, other than that, that concludes Module 4 of this course. And then later this week, we'll get started with Module 5 and Systems of Equations.